In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a clean, simple overlay like this one, as well as some tips for other overlays. And also, if you stick around to the end, we'll give away this overlay completely for free. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, first thing we want to do is come over to Chrome and search up pixlr.com. It's a free editor. We'll use this advanced Pixlr E. Go ahead and create new. And it doesn't matter really if you're streaming in 720 or 1080. Just go ahead and use the 1080 full HD preset 1920 by 1080. Go ahead and name it whatever you want. Well, Nat, turn your background off and click create. Now, if you've never used Pixlr before, you can zoom in and out with your scroll wheel. Uh, for this tutorial, we got to center a lot of things up. So I'd recommend coming down to your shape tool clicking your line tool, stroke can stay at five. This top color here will be the color of a line. So I'll leave mine on white, change yours to whatever you want. Click and drag down, you can hold shift to make sure it stays completely straight. We'll do that, click the pointer tool and I'll move it to the center. And you should see it kind of magnetized right there in the middle. And now we can, if we want to, if you want to, you can rename that your center line. Now, next thing I would recommend doing is opening a new tab and whatever game you play, just search it up a screenshot of it so you can get an idea of what your stream is going to look like. I'll just use this one here. Right click on the image, click save image as and then just save it where you can find it and either go to that folder and click it and drag it onto here or if you're on chrome it'll be down here click drag and drop and always hit add current now i'm going to put that below our center line and now we can start making an overlay so first thing you want to do every time you make a new shape a new line or anything you always want to make a new layer and click empty We'll use this lasso, yeah, the lasso tool and change it to polygon. And we can click kind of outside up here, bring it down a little bit, and then go over as straight as you possibly can. And we'll go up and finish it right there. Now, if you are worried about it not being straight or if it looks off you can always come down to your fortnite layer turn it off and then follow the boxes to make sure you do it pretty straight i got pretty lucky it looks like i stayed straight so that'll be fun i'll turn our fortnite layer back on so we've got this layer three selected we can come over here and if you want it to be a solid color you just click this field tool and you select whichever color you want and you can fill it in what i'm going to do is use this gradient tool and you can come up here to edit your gradient i'm going to click on this one click this white right here and change it to something like that so it's a real subtle black to gray gradient and then just click and drag down now i've got a little bit of a gradient in there you see you still got those dashed lines around it. Come up to either your lasso tool or your marque tool, however you say marque. Right click and deselect. All right, that's the first thing we got out of the way. Now, if you want to, you can resize it. I might make it a little bit bigger and then you can just drag it back to your center line. And what I'm going to do now is come over here to these three dots on our layer three and let's hit this duplicate button. Now just whatever layer is selected, it doesn't really matter. Just click and drag it kind of up and to the left. Now that doesn't look good. You can see how it's on top of the other one. You can just click it and see how it's the copy that's on top. Just drag it below layer three. And now you've got this little action happening click back on that one the copy or whichever one you put underneath and you can come up here to filter come down to inner glow 
And for this, I would select like the theme color of your channel. I always go with this teal color. Hit OK. And the reason we're using inner glow is strictly just to recolor the whole thing. You can just crank the size up all the way and it'll fill it in completely. And you can click apply. And now you can kind of place this wherever you want. I think I'm gonna put it about right there. All right, so now click back on your first one and we're going to duplicate it again. And this time uh, with it selected or whichever one, it doesn't really matter. Hit free instead of fixed and then just drag it way out here to where, make sure you get it far enough to where the corner goes away. Unless you want to keep that little fade out like that. If you like that, then keep it. But I'm going to go far enough out. If you have to zoom out and just make it go way out there. Now I'm going to take it, put it below both of our layer three copies. So now we're looking like this. It's starting to look good. And take this, the one we just made and stretched it out really far and put it kind of in the middle of the second one. Or if you want to, you could take it even a little bit higher, but I'll probably put it right there in the middle. Now, once you're happy with how this looks, make sure you've got it adjusted. And once you feel like you won't move these shapes ever again, this next step, you can't really undo it. So once you've got it the way you want it, go ahead and click on your top layer and merge it down this left one. And now it's joined those two together. Go ahead and click it one more time. And now all three of them are combined into one shape. Don't move it around like that, like I did. Now we'll click on it, three dots, duplicate, and go up here and click flip horizontal. And now we'll click and drag and get those two as lined up as we can. Zoom in with your scroll wheel. You can hold your space bar, brings up this hand, and then you can click and drag around to look at different things. And now just make sure that this is as lined up as it can be. And then just zoom out. And I think that looks pretty good. And if you want to, now you can take it, you can merge it down, and now it's just one big layer. You can put it back up there. That's actually not a bad look. I didn't mean to do that, but if you wanted to leave it like that, that looks good too, but we'll put it back the way it was. And while it's like this, you can resize it if you wanted it bigger, but I'll leave it the size it was. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do for this tutorial is add a similar overlay on the bottom down here. So just add a new layer, empty. We've got our Marquet tool come down we'll keep this one pretty thin put it right there now the same way we did this one you can do a gradient or you can just do a solid color I'll probably do a solid color for this one and I'll just click right there your fill color is gonna be this top color so make sure you pick whatever color you want keep it pretty similar to this up here probably now you can click on this tool or this tool again to right click down here and hit deselect. I'm gonna go ahead and add a new layer, empty. I'm gonna get this lasso tool, change it to polygon. We'll click about right here, come up a little bit, and then we'll go to the center, down and back to the start. And let's do a gradient for this one. We'll do this one again. I'll make it another darker gray color so it's real subtle. And then just click and drag on top of that. Got that on there. Click back on one of these tools to right click and deselect. Close out of the ads popping up. Get your pointer tool, select it, come over here and duplicate it. Come up here and flip it. And then just drag it over. And just like on top, you can zoom in 
hold your space bar to drag around and then that's actually pretty lined up I might get scooted over a little bit and now if you want you can merge them down just one time to make this its own shape and now a cool little effect you can add to this one down here is come up once you have it selected come up here to filter outer glow and then select whatever color you want it can be white black or your kind of channel highlight color and then just play with the settings however you like I like to turn the feather all the way up probably bring the size down a little bit and the opacity down a little bit and now that's pretty much it I'm gonna add my logo and some social stuff right here so all I did was add my logo and then my socials down here and like I said at the beginning if you stuck around we'd do a giveaway so I'm gonna give away these uh, icons right here it's not much here's the, the overlay and you'll get Instagram twitch Twitter viewers that'll just maybe spice up your overlay a little bit if you want to make panels or maybe like a nade shot theme uh, these last few minutes you know if you're done just take off your center line take off Fortnite and then just file save PNG and you're done but if you want to stick around for a few more minutes I'll show a couple more ideas uh, let's get the shape tool actually you know what I'm gonna get this rectangle tool I'm gonna move really fast for this part to just give y'all some ideas. The point of these videos are to show you this free editor and for y'all to take my ideas and run with it and make stuff that looks way better than the stuff I make. So for something kind of nade shot themed, uh, I love his overlays, they're super clean and simple. You can make a box, grab your gradient tool. There's my phone going off. We'll do something like that and then you can deselect take that and let's see duplicate it now something like that back to your shape tool line stroke You know, something like that. That's where these uh, icons would come in handy. You just click and drag them, add current, and resize them down. You can put your, uh, your donations right there. You could put your followers or most recent follower right there. You can always come up to filter inner glow pick a color just crank the size all the way up and it'll change the color of it so that's an idea if you want to do a webcam overlay just make a new layer grab this rectangle tool we'll make it over here to get this gradient tool make whatever gradient you want why not go rainbow and then we'll make it like that and there you go no I'm just kidding I guess you could just put your camera on top of that and that would look fine but you could also come in here and whoops did that wrong don't do that go back to the rectangle tool hit deselect and then make a square inside the square hit delete and now you have a webcam overlay if you're worried about it not being sized right click on it with the pointer tool I didn't realize you're gonna have to switch it to free and do 1920 by 1080 and that'll get it sized perfect then you can drag it around and then change it back to fixed and resize it wherever you want your webcam and then if you want to add more stuff I mean, it, I'm just trying to help you guys think of some stuff really easy. You could add some, uh, nope, not that. Definitely not that. You could add some rectangles with no stroke. So you come down here, 
you could put followers right there you could put a top donator right there you could say mr. beast give me 10 grand right there the possibilities are endless and like I said earlier uh, whenever you're done whenever you've got it the way you want it just turn off your center line or you could really just delete it and you could delete the Fortnite layer and now here is your overlay I hope that helps you guys hope it gets your stream looking good you can throw this in OBS you could put it in overlay expert wherever you want be sure and subscribe for more content like this let me know what video we should make next and I will see you in the next one <coughs>